Barbara Light in Valens. We have a great show for you today. We're over here at uh, the Barbara Light Health Center, uh, Health Center. I don't know what else to call it. That's what it's health center. It's got tons <laughs> of services yeah, here for you to get we're, healthy. We're not in studio today, so we're at the place where you can get all the actual treatments and things like that. And mm -hmm. today we're going to talk about the 12 eating traps for yes. Christmas. But before we get to that, we probably want to talk about some really good specials that you can take advantage of right now. So. Absolutely. I mean, we have some fantastic opportunities for you to take steps to improve your health and get ready for 2017. Uh, the first one we always talk about is our titron scan. Now, how can you not be coming in and getting a Titron scan and understanding how well your nervous system is working and how that relates to either the health challenges you know you have or some things you may not know that you have? And I can tell you from my own experience with the Titron scan, I mean, the first time I came in for the chiropractor treatment, I had a crick in my neck is what I want to call it, but it's really pain that I've had in there for a long time. And then there's a couple of spots on my back that I've always had pain. The Titron scan pointed them out immediately. I mean, you could see them very clearly that that was an area that they had a problem. The Titron scan is really, really good at doing that. And again, this is a free diagnostics tool that you know, it's not normally free. It's like a hundred bucks or something yeah. you can normally get it. So mm -hmm. if you want to take care of it, the, get these Christmas specials, if you want to call them, the holiday yeah. specials. Holiday come, specials. Come in and get it. And you also have one for Nutribus. We do. You know, the Titron scan, I hope you mentioned it, but it is no charge to you. It's free. So it's a gift from us to you this, this year, this, uh, this month. Um, when you talk about the body composition analysis for Nutrimost program, it's a fat loss program, it's very unique. And this program, or this actual offer is unique too because you get a body composition analysis that covers 15 key aspects of how your body's running for only $27, it's a $99 value. I was gonna say, it's normally $99 also. So. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the 12 eating traps. I mean, I read your article, the first one in there says, Feed and flattery. Feed the flattery. Feed you know, the flattery. A lot of people, when they start a program, what's the first thing you're going to hear from anybody that's a friend, a co-worker, even a family member? Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah. You're not going to be successful. Or you can yeah, be... I a, tried that. Yeah, I tried... Oh, there you go. I tried that. Uh, and it doesn't work. You know, those are the kind of things. And even if they know you're on the program and then you go out to dinner for a family event, they're like, ah, you can get away with this. You can have just this this, this wine or just have this dessert with us. It won't, it won't hurt you. I've been on your program. It won't hurt you. I've heard them say, well, that's like Atkins. Oh, yeah. I like Atkins. Right. <laughs> exactly. They try to compare it to something that they had not had success right. in. Because they're comfortable with where everything is today. Everybody doesn't they want don't to change. They don't want you to change. They want, right. They don't want you to look better than that. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I had one individual, she says that when she was in the position of being overweight and her friends were having successes, she would casually say to them, yeah, well, I'm happy for you, I'm happy. And inside she's going, I'm not happy for you. You're having successes that I'm not. Right. So, um, you know, you really want to feed the flattery and, and stay away from that negativity. Don't tell people you're doing the program right. until you have great successes. Right. Hold off for a couple weeks. Get great successes. And then when people start asking you, hey, you look like you've lost weight. Are you really, uh, are you doing something? Then you can share with them, yeah, I started doing this program. I've got some successes because it takes the wind completely out of the negativity sales. When you say, yeah, I've already lost 12 pounds, 15, 22 pounds. Really funny thing, Carl and I have written a couple of books together and one of them has my picture on it. So I've, I've sold this book and people bought it and stuff. And I said, they, one person walked in the other day and said, you know, you don't look anything like a picture in your book. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Exactly, right? So you change it. So it's one of those kinds of things. Again, uh, you know, there's eating traps. And here in your article, you talk about eating traps to avoid during the holiday season. There's a bunch of eating traps. There is a bunch, a bunch of eating traps. You know, a lot of people have their seasonal favorites, and they overindulge in those seasonal favorites. Um, so, you know, you've got to really watch that. If you're going to you're gonna go in and you're going to have some things, you know, people come in and say, well, I'm definitely having grandmother's sweet potatoes, or I'm definitely going to have the egg noodles, or I'm definitely going to have this, this, this dessert. When we make candies every year, I'm not missing my candy. or the cookies. fudge. My mother's yep. fudge. Mother's fudge, or these cookies that we make every year. When you have those scenarios, you've got to make sure that if you, you are going to enjoy those things, make sure that it's in moderation, and you don't overindulge in those, because... You know, eating a whole box of fudge is probably not the best. And I would food. probably do that if I'm doing that. <laughs> but here's a, here's a sort of one. You know, you see people go to Starbucks and stuff like that, and they have their Christmas coffees and things like that, and they can like double pump them or triple pump oh, them. Oh yes. You did that the whole month of December. 
One of those things could be a thousand calories. Well, you know, it is. Twelve to fifteen hundred calories sometimes for the gingerbread mochas and, and all these things. Wonderful drinks. They taste marvelous. But boy, I'll tell you, but that's you did much it every day for the, for the twelve yeah. days of Christmas. You had twelve pounds on yes. Christmas is what you end up with. Yes, indeed. Uh, so overindulging simply because it's the holidays is a yes. normal problem that people do. I mean, they see all the food there, they're going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, not only that, but people bring it to work, and then what do you do? You go past the desk this way and get one, and you go past the desk this way and you get one, and yeah. then you, that and pattern lasts all day. And it stands, starts with Halloween. I mean, the kids get all this candy, then all of a sudden the candy goes to work. Oh, yeah. And you start there, and then it's got Thanksgiving, and you got all this stuff left over, and then it just, just rolls just right through. Just rolls right through. Yeah. Yes. Um, the next one you had on your list was there, staying too close to the food. Yes. So you had that Christmas party, and you see the person <laughs> hanging over the shrimp, right? Right. Yeah. Shrimp, or dessert bowls, uh, or dessert they, dessert they, they did, or whatever dip in the stack, there. whatever oh, it is. Yeah. And, and they, don't, they never leave the table. I mean, you, this is such a cliche thing that you see it in movies a lot of times. Oh, right? you do? Yeah. yeah, they're just, it, it's, it's like a trough. Right. And it's just, you <laughs> just keep pouring it in and pouring it in, and then... You leave and you're like, oh, that was a great party. Well, yeah, you yeah, indulge you just in your food. you being like 40 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll have a couple of cocktails and a couple of beers to chase it down. Oh, so, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, another thing that you'll see that people make a big mistake, I think, is enormous portions. You know, they got the big plate. Well, you know, the holiday plates are bigger automatically. Yeah. When you get the holiday plates out, they're like three times the size of a normal dinner plate that you have. And people will fill it to the brim. I mean, there's not, you can't see the plate. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure that I get stuff before before everybody else gets oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, you know, they get all that. I mean, I've seen plates that have second stories on them. Wow. You know? <laughs> it's like the Star Trek 3D chess, but yeah. it's a plate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like three rounds of food right in one plate. So yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely don't do not uh, do not do that. Definitely limit what you're taking. Yeah. And here's another thing that, that I see a lot of people do. They sample everything. So this, this Thanksgiving, I didn't sample the cranberry. I didn't get the bread. I didn't grab everything. I just mm. grabbed my really favorite stuff. Now, bread is one of my favorite things, but I knew that that's a trigger food that's going to stop. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have extra turkey and extra ham, and I did. And I also had some uh, sweet uh, sweet potato pie and a couple of other yeah. things that, that I... Pumpkin pie, did. yeah. yeah I no, but you went pie. in with a strategy. Yeah. And that's what you did. And, and the great thing is you had foreknowledge of these are some of the things that are disruptive to me already because you've done the program. Yeah. So you know what your disruptors are. And I had a couple of glasses of wine. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like... Sacrifice. Try and sacrifice. I'm not eating. Man, I was full. Oh, yeah. Full and enjoyed the meal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the tastes were wonderful, right? right? So, that's what, you know, don't sample everything because you don't need everything. I mean, no. your body only needs so much food. I mean, so that's mm -hmm. one thing. The last one we're going to do probably before we uh, take a break, Take a break. we're going to talk about trigger foods. So, one of my trigger foods, I know is bread. Cheeses in general mm -hmm. could be a trigger food for me. Um, the cranberry sauce. The cranberry, you know, that's another one. I mean, there's yeah. usually a lot of sugar in that kind of stuff, especially right. if it's canned. Mm -hmm. You know, so knowing your trigger foods can be a big deal. No, that's huge. You're talking to the, to the public out here when we're talking about trigger foods. They might not know what we're talking about here. When you go through the Nutrimost program, you go through a whole phase where you learn what your trigger foods are. One of the foods that shut your metabolism off and you do nothing but gain weight after you right. eat them. What turns on fat storage? Yes. What trigger that's foods That's what are. it is. And... <laughs> You know, Hector's going through the program, he's learned what his trigger foods are, so he's been able to have the benefit yeah. of being able to strategize. And if you don't and aren't aware of those things, um, then you've got to be really cognizant of what you're doing for the And here's the funny thing. You can still eat trigger foods, but you have to have a strategy on how to deal with it because you know that as soon as you eat that, you're, you're going right. to shut off you know, right. fat burning. Yeah. So you're, you're in storage mode. As soon as you eat that, you're in storage mode. You're in storage you have mode. to understand that that's going to happen, and then you can then... Uh, Act appropriately. So right. for, for me, I know the next day I'm probably going to eat a bigger salad with more chicken or yep. whatever, the things that are normally good for me. That's right. And you're going to try to get it down through there. And then yeah. if that doesn't work, we have some nutritional weapons that will guarantee right. you get it right back down. Right. We've got about one minute left. I know we're going to talk about uh, the tip of the day. Tip of the day. So we're going to be coming we'll be back, back with back that and right after this commercial break. Thank you. Hi, it's Dr. John, and I'm here to share with you some exciting news about our Vibrant Life Fat Loss Program. When we take a look at what we have here, it's much different than the fad diets and the yo-yo diets that you may have be very familiar with or have experienced it yourself where you've gone through a program, lost some weight, two months later, you're even more than what you started. This is a much different scenario. When you do generic programs like that, you get generic results. 
We need to do a program that's specific for you and that's what we do here. We can identify what's going on with your fat metabolism system, what are the triggers that are turning off fat burn in your body, and develop a custom program that's effectively going to change and transform how your body is doing fat metabolism. It all begins with our body composition analysis that we do here for $27 and you'll learn so much more about how your body is functioning, your BMI, your adipose levels, your visceral fat levels, and even your metabolic age. There's 15 key components that we look at and we start to share with you how to transform your life. So we're back and we're going to talk about the tip of the day. Today's tip is... Set a goal and stay focused. That's what we want to talk about today. Which is you know? what I did at Thanksgiving. Exactly. We were just talking about that. And that's the fantastic thing is that when people walk into these events for the holidays and they don't really have a goal in mind, you know, they're not thinking about their weight, just thinking, I'm going to have a good time, carefree. And when you do that, that's where you get into trouble. That's where you start falling into the overindulgence. You don't need the, the food area. You know, you're, you're pounding through the things that you shouldn't be eating. Um, trigger that's foods That's when they do sample plate. every. I'm going to sample everything. Right. That's one of those non-focused goals type of thing. My goal for Thanksgiving was I want to really enjoy the foods that I really love. Yes. And I, and I wanted to avoid the trigger foods. So that's what I did. I focused on the foods that I really love. And I that's ate right. plenty of it. Right. Plain till I was full, mm -hmm. and I avoided the trigger foods, and I lost literally a pound and a half because I was well, doing fat burning the whole time. Yeah, exactly, and that's what it's about. So you, you got to make sure you have a goal in mind. What is your goal when you walk into the event? I don't want to do these, these, and these, these things because I know how it feels in the morning when I wake up. My body's not working very well. I'm, you know, there's a lot. I'm bloated. You know, there's all kinds of issues that can happen from that. Make sure you set a goal and stay to it. Stay true to mm -hmm. yourself. Go through it. Don't be peer pressured into falling into the the party trap. Yeah. Uh, stick with it. Execute your goal. Make sure you eat things. Enjoy the things that you mm -hmm. know you can, and so you can enjoy the event. Yeah. So here's here's one of the ones that you sort of it's hard to deal with when you're at a party or whatever. If somebody comes up to you and says, "You got to try this." You ever seen the commercial on TV where they get the raccoons and the guy says, "This tastes terrible. You got to try it." You ever see it? <laughs> yes, I have. It's really a funny. Well, this is sort of like that. You gotta try this. Yeah. Well, I don't want to try it. Right. Exactly. Well, thank, thank you. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You know, there's a, a gracious way to, to take it and hold on to it, and then just uh, and then just after the, the discussion's way. over. <laughs> or uh, you know, um, the other thing is, don't be afraid to say, "You know, look, I know it looks wonderful, but uh, uh, I have a, a goal." Like we talked about on the tip. And this is going to kind of disrupt that goal, and so uh, well, I may, I'm allergic to it. Yeah, I'm allergic to it. <laughs> or you can even say, you know what, I'm going to take some, and I'll make sure I take it home, and when I when I have the time, I'll make sure I try it, and let you know how it is. You know, there's all kinds of ways to deal with that situation. Yeah, I, I would say that you know that's one of the things that my partner Carl is, is a gourmet cook. Yes, so he has all kinds of really cool stuff. I usually try all this stuff; it's all really good. But if I know it's a trigger food, I will taste it, but I won't eat a bunch of it. Right. Because, for example, I can't eat a lot of pasta. So pasta right. will put, turn me on into a fat bowl real quick. <laughs> so I don't eat it, but I, I, it doesn't mean I won't taste it. Yeah. But I know the taste is probably not going to put me in. You know. uh, and it does, you know, the weapons to uh, take care uh, of it. But uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, here's one that people do. They avoid fiber for some reason during the holiday. Fiber is like a magic food. It, it, it kind of cleans you out. You know, you got to make sure you're getting the fiber in. And, you know, the fiber can be coming from veg you know, yeah, vegetables. I was going to say, sources. just eat a lot of vegetables that have fibers in them. That's vegetables right. are actually really good. They're, they're nutrient dense. Yep. Yeah. You know, and they're going to metabolize much slower so that's that you right. don't get hungry. Yeah, and that's the other key thing is if you fill yourself up with some fiber while you're on these events, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have the, the room for all the other stuff that you can fill in. I hear people say, you know, they don't want to be, you know, gassy and all that kind of stuff. Fiber is really good for you. It is. You know, it is good for you. It's one of the superfoods, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. you know? and, Definitely. So Definitely. People shouldn't avoid fiber. They should be looking for fiber on the on the table there. Yeah. Uh, avoid dishes with vegetables and fruits to yeah. fool you. What? To fool you. <laughs> allowing. Yeah. It says allowing, allowing dishes, dishes with, with vegetables, vegetables and fruits to fool you. So you know a lot of people, like you said, they're going to get in there and they're going to they're going to sit by the, the vegetable tray and they're going to start dipping and dipping and dipping and pretty soon you go from the vegetables to some of the other things that might be on the tray like crackers and cheeses and things yeah. like that and you've transferred into the trick. You know what I mean? To get and you again, if you eat a lot of fruit, fruit actually has lots of sugar. So mm -hmm. if you eat too much of it, it, it could be one of those oh, things. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you might have fruit that's trigger food. Exactly. You, know. you have a fruit that's trigger food. So and you gotta be the careful. dip usually has all the calories. Yeah, and that's where you're going to get it. You know? If you start eating more dip than you do carrots, uh, maybe there's something going on there. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, that's what most people don't realize. They eat a salad, and then they, they honk all this really, you know, uh, stuff on there, and, and that's the stuff that has the calories. I mean, yeah. I'm an oil and vinegar type of guy, but I see a lot of other people pouring this stuff on there, and those calories are like they're through the roof. Absolutely. Um, here's another one that I see a lot of people is they'll eat a big meal, and then they'll say, you got room for dessert? And then, oh, yeah, yeah, bring it up. Bring it up. So, and I'll have one of every. I'll have the cheesecake, and I'll have the pumpkin right. pie, and right. oh, they got sweet potato pie, and that, and then, oh, there's a pecan pie. Pecan right. pie is pure sugar. Right. I don't know if you know that. But it's pure sugar. And they'll grab all that stuff, and they'll eat all of it. And then what are you going to put on top? Oh, you got to have the Cool Whip. Right? Got to have that. And, 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 and again, eat two pieces of pie, you're at 500 calories. I mean, they're yeah. not small pieces. If you eat yeah. a big piece of pie, you're at 1,000 calories. Exactly. So oh. strategize, you know. Make sure if you're going to have it, just have a little bit. Like you were saying, try it, taste it, but don't indulge yourself into having six pieces of it. Yeah, I always tell people, you know, eat the good stuff first. So eat all the good vegetables and mm -hmm. you know, the meats and stuff like that. So you're more satiated. You're less likely to go for the, you know, yes. the desserts after the fact. Exactly. Um, Grazing on leftovers is a big deal. You know, that is. You know, this is something I love to teach people. Is, you know, I always use the chili as an example. People make a crock pot of chili and they eat it for dinner. And then it's lunch and dinner the next day. Maybe breakfast if somebody's really feeling like they need it. And it's like the next six meals that you have are that chili. Well, you know, your body amazingly will eventually say, you know what? We've gotten everything we need from this. Just store it. Yeah. And so when you start doing all these leftovers, you gotta be really careful of grazing on these leftovers. And it could be a trigger food like mine. I know certain kinds of beans are trigger food. Mm -hmm. It shuts off fat burning immediately. So if I eat a lot of chili, it's one of those things that right. shut it off. And what do you do? The other thing is, okay, like for Thanksgiving, we had turkey. Well, the next day we're gonna make turkey dressing and all kinds of stuff. Right. Well, what they add to that could be some bad things right. as well too. So you gotta be They'll careful. They put a big pile of mayonnaise and a whole bunch of other mm -hmm. stuff in there. Exactly. Um, Go to here, weight, lose weight by January. So we want to talk about that because a lot of times people like, it's the holidays, I'm not going to try and lose weight. Actually, this is really one of the ideal times. You know, it's a great time to make it through because, you know, the research out there tells us that we gain weight through the holidays. And the other part of that is not only do we gain it, we never lose it. That's what the research is telling us. Right. And if you go through with a strategy of the holidays that you're actually going to lose weight through the holidays and you're going to do a program or you're going to strategize, you're ahead of the game yeah. because you're going to be, how awesome would it be to do like a Nutrimos program? Yeah, you and could before, do the 20-day program. You could. Perfect. And you're down 20, 22 pounds before 2017 even hits. You're way ahead of the game. Yeah. And uh, and so you're moving in the right because direction. Because in January, now you don't have holidays that are all about eating. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, had, we just had the three holidays that are all about right. eating. You know, and uh, the foods that are on the Nutrimost program, I, as I share, I even share with you, don't think of this as food restriction. Think of this as learning a new way to prepare foods that's going to be delicious and new opportunities. A new way to learn to eat the foods that are best for you. Yes. Genetically Premium best for fuel. you. Right. Yes. So that you stay in fat burning so that your metabolism is high. So your energy is high. So you have more fun. You have less pain. A whole bunch of other good stuff. And I'm talking about me personally when I say those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Nowhere near the end of the show. Uh, we want to talk about the specials one more time? We want to talk about the specials, the Titron. You can get that complimentary that's free of charge, and you'll know a lot about your nervous system. We have the body composition analysis for $27. So nine, well, both of those are over $100 right. values. And uh, that's only $27, and you'll go through 15 key components of how your body is functioning. You know, And we haven't mentioned yet today on the show either how you can get more information. You know, We write blog articles, you, you can go to our website, you can connect with us in so there's, many different there's ways. There's tons of videos, there's, there's a Testimony. radio, the radio show. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff out there that you can go and get information on. And again, this is, we're trying to give you the real information where we're not trying to sell you a whole bunch of stuff. Right. You really want to, the best way for us to sell you is to pay attention to the testimonials. We right. have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials here that you can check out. These people will tell you their real experience how long they've stayed off, kept the weight off. Yep. I mean, I'm now at seven months. I haven't gained a single pound. Yep. That's a big deal. You know, and also, you know, another big deal, chiropractically. Hector's got some great chiropractic success there. We're, we're holding 45 and 50 days right now on mm -hmm. your adjustments. And that's awesome. A maintenance program, a maintenance adjustment that's at that, that cycle is, is very good, very strong. Yeah. So until we do uh, next week's show, we'll see you next week.